How's it going, YouTube? My name is Javit, and welcome back to another video inside of Destiny 2 Lightfall. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get yourself the Necrochasm Catalyst, which is the catalyst for the auto rifle Necro Exotic Necrochasm. Uh, I did make a mistake in the last uh, video where I mentioned that it was a pulse rifle, but it's actually an auto rifle. And there was an additional quest where you actually needed to get essence. Just You just got to complete the raid. Just do um either encounters or you can complete challenges via the raid so today i'm going to show you guys how to do that really quick on how you guys can get yourself the necrochasm catalyst for your exotic collection so let's begin what you're going to do is you're going to live into the quarter zone and we want to complete the bridge encounter there's going to be a plate on the right side of the other side of the bridge and you're going to stand on that you have to have necrochasm to actually do this or else it won't work once you stand on it, what's going to happen is you're going to be getting in a, time, a timed event about a minute and 30 seconds to kill all the gatekeepers from one side to the other. You're going to kill all the gatekeepers from this side, and then you're going to make yourself over to the other side where there's the, the bridge, the other side, there'll be a portal that you need to enter. And once you enter that portal, well, of course, before you enter the portal, you need to kill the rest of the gatekeepers from that side. And once you do that, you're going to go through the portal, and then you're going to kill the rest of the gatekeepers from the side you were just at to start to actually start the necrochasm. So I'm just going to show you guys some footage really quick. Regardless if you have the necrochasm or not, it will still drop swords for other players. So even if you don't have the necrochasm, you still get a sword and you can still get the gatekeeper kills, but you won't get the progress for the necrochasm kills because you have to have necrochasm first, which I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to check out that video. We're going to cross the bridge over here, and then there's going to be more gatekeepers on the other side, and you can see the portal over there, but first, before we do that, oh, there's also curse throwing you to watch out too. I almost, I almost died killing one because the sword locks onto the targets, which eh, it's a little annoying, and then you can use the super attack for the sword as well, which makes it go by a little faster and as you can see we're all just cleaning up these gatekeepers here like it's nothing it's overall pretty easy part for this encounter um and then yeah you're just gonna go through the, the portal and then you're gonna be that brought back here and then you're gonna kill the rest of the gatekeepers and then you're gonna get your progress saying um crota's minions have been defeated if you don't complete it on time it's gonna say crota's minions have vanished but do not worry you guys can do this as many times as you like and there is no it's not like one of those things where you can only do it like once or whatever and you have to go back to orbit and do it again so don't worry guys you can you can keep doing it if you guys are concerned about that but yeah once we do that crota's minions are defeated what's going to happen next is we're going to actually go to ear you now you have to actually finish the encounter of course to actually do it the last this is actually going to be the last part of doing the catalyst however it's not really that helps them what we're going to happen is we're going to use the Uther and we're going to see if we can use it for a few more times. I'll look at these guys. Or we're going to have a sleeper as well. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, we can see the Uther. And what's going to happen is that you're going to go onto the right tower. You know, like where you face like where Crota is in the middle. Back in D1, you're going to go to the right tower, bottom right. You want to be on the bottom right and there's going to be a plate on the left side on the bottom right bottom right tower and once again yes you need to have necrochasm for this work or else it won't work so this time it's going to be a little harder because it's only going to drop three swords instead of six and basically um you this is a bigger area so it's going to be a little bit tougher but not too much tougher i will say i only failed this once but i will show you guys some gameplay of me actually obtaining the catalyst which is very nice by the way if you guys don't know this catalyst does give you outlaw which will decrease the reload speed upon getting kills which is very uh, i mean it's a little disappointing because regardless uh necrochasm already has a insanely fast reload speeds which yeah i wish it did something a little bit better but yeah it's no big deal if you guys want to get necrochasm catalyst then that this video is here for you and I'm just going to show you guys some gameplay on how you, how you guys finish this. So, yeah, stay with me, and we're going to get this done really quick. So, we're going to stand that green plate, and then we're going to start it. And there's going to be a ton of gatekeepers that spawn, like, pretty much everywhere this time. So, there's going to be some in the towers, there's going to be some in the, the actual, like, top, like, above where your unit is. Like, yeah, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Pick up the sword, and then we're going to get two defeating new gatekeepers. I'm going to show you guys some gameplay for you really quick. It's a very, it's overall pretty easy. I only failed this part once, but you can see there are some wizards too you got to take care of as well. 
but overall, it's not too hard. See, as you can see, you can also bring a tractor can with you too. That'll actually make you do more damage to the gatekeeper. It's always very nice to bring a uh, given, uh, not given me, sorry, the uh, tractor can press his targets. But let me just show you guys the rest of the gameplay footage here really quick. Now, once you guys do complete this last part of getting the catalyst, you are not done. You actually need to get to the catalyst's full potential itself by actually completing the catalyst. You do unlock the catalyst, but you, it doesn't mean you have completed it yet. To complete the catalyst, you need to get 35 essences of the Oversoul from the Crotazen. So what you can do is uh, every week you can come by this raid. Um, I don't think you have to have Necrochasm equipped to do it. You might. I would just test it out. But every encounter should give you at least one to two Oversouls. And um, you can. what you also could do is every you can do on each of the three characters, make sure you have Necrochasm equipped. Well, at least try it. If it see if it works or not. And then what you could also do is the challenges, of course. I did the precarious balance challenge for the Crotazen raid where you have to, uh, when the plate is, the bridge is activated, the person who is on, who is activating the bridge needs to get off so the other person can go towards, can go on the other side of where the bridge is at. So basically you cannot have one person be on the bridge while the other person is activating the plate. So basically, you just have to go towards the bridge while it's, de while it's deconstructing. So it's not too hard of a challenge, but you can get essences of the Oversoul when you do, of course, complete challenges or doing encounters. So yeah, that's just how you guys can get yourself the Necrochasm Callus. See, I actually had 32 out of 35, so I was kind of, I was pretty much almost there. I just needed to complete a challenge or two. But you can do the encounter and that will give you some essences of the oversouls. Completing all four of the encounters should give you like four or I think it's like one to two um, essences per encounter. Or you can, like I said, mention you can actually complete the challenge. And that's how you guys will get yourself the Necrochasm Catalyst. Anyways, I hope you guys did find this video helpful. If you did, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And once again, this is just how you guys get the Necrochasm Catalyst. I do hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you did... Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, my name's Javid, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone. Bye.